Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you're all staying safe. I know I'm doing my part. I'm doing a lot of sewing of masks for the hospitals and healthcare facilities that are requesting them around our area. I hope you're able to do the same and I hope your homeschooling is going well. <clears throat> Today, Molo and I are going to teach you a little bit about something called the watermelon float. Now, kids that have had me know the watermelon float because we practice it and it's fun but it's about teaching them how to put their face in the water and hold their breaths. So what I generally have them do is bring their knees up and I hold on to them when they first start this and put their arms around their knees like they're gonna do a somersault. Then while I hold them, we lean forward, we put our face in the water. Notice Molo's got her goggles on today. We put our face in the water we hold our breath and we look at my fingers and underwater, I will count one, two, three, and then you can get up. And eventually they start counting a little more and a little more and want to get up to four and five and 10 to hold their breath, but they will float like a watermelon. Now, obviously I'm not in the water. I can't let her go or she's going to sink. So, but you'll float. All right. So here we go. Ready, Molo? All right. One, two, three. And we go forward into the water. And then we look at my fingers underwater and I count one, two, three. <gasps> and up she comes. And she usually puts her feet down and says, oh, look, I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm so excited. And we do it again. We bring our feet up like you're doing a somersault. You wrap your arms around them and you say, watermelon float. <laughs> one, two, three. Good way to start your baby doing that kind of stuff. It's actually a good thing for all the kids to do because teaching them to float on their stomach and look down to the bottom of the pool is a good thing because eventually when they start learning strokes, we need them to be able to look at the bottom of the pool. That was an easy one today. Everybody have a happy Friday. Bye-bye.